The STS-61C NASA mission was the 24th Space Shuttle mission and the seventh flight of the Columbia Space Shuttle. Launched on January 12, 1986, the mission was a significant milestone in the history of the Space Shuttle program, as it marked the first time that a German astronaut, Reinhard Führer, had flown in space. The primary objective of the STS-61C mission was to deploy the SATCOM KU-1 communications satellite, which was designed to provide improved communication capabilities for the United States military. The satellite was successfully deployed on the second day of the mission, and its systems were checked out by ground controllers before being put into service. Oddly enough, during the mission, one of the astronauts captured a strange object in space. Due to the shape of the object, it was given the name of the Black Triangle, and those who investigate the unknown reported that these aircrafts are commonly sighted all around the world. Black triangles have become a popular topic, and these mysterious objects are characterized by their triangular shape and black color, and they have been spotted in the skies around the world, as well as in space. One of the most intriguing aspects of the black triangles is their apparent ability to defy the laws of physics. Witnesses have reported seeing these objects hovering motionless in the sky and then suddenly accelerating to incredible speeds and disappearing from sight. Others have reported seeing the objects flying in formation or making sudden unpredictable turns and maneuvers. While the origin and nature of these objects is still unknown, there are a number of theories that have been proposed to explain their existence. Some suggest that they may be advanced military aircraft or drones, while others believe that they may be sent here by advanced civilizations, similar to what we have done in regards to sending probes to other planets in our solar system. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence supporting the advanced civilization theory is the sheer number of sightings of black triangles over the years. Witnesses from around the world have reported seeing these objects, often with strikingly similar descriptions and behavior patterns. This has led some to suggest that the objects may be part of a larger alien presence that is monitoring our planet. Another theory that has been proposed is that the black triangles may be related to secret government projects or experiments. Some researchers have pointed to the fact that the objects often appear in areas with high concentrations of military or government activity and have suggested that they may be part of a classified program. Despite the many theories and speculations surrounding black triangles, the truth remains elusive. While some witnesses have captured images and video of these objects, their true nature and purpose remain unknown. However, the study of black triangles and other unidentified objects remains an important area of research for scientists and enthusiasts alike. By gathering and analyzing data on these objects, researchers can gain insights into the mysteries of our universe and the potential existence of extraterrestrial life. Regardless of their true nature and origin, black triangles continue to captivate and intrigue people around the world. Their enigmatic presence in our skies and in space serves as a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe and of the ongoing quest to understand and explore the unknown. Skeptics have said that this object isn't anything mysterious and that what we are looking at is just a piece of space debris, further noting that as of right now there is a significant amount of space debris in orbit around the Earth and this debris poses a serious threat to both manned and unmanned spacecraft. According to estimates from the European Space Agency, there are currently around 34,000 pieces of debris larger than 10 centimeters in size in orbit around the Earth. This includes everything from defunct satellites and rocket stages to nuts and bolts from past missions. These larger pieces of debris can cause significant damage if they collide with a spacecraft, and they are a major concern for the safety of manned missions. Over the years, many astronauts have reported seeing unidentified objects during their missions in space. While some of these sightings can be easily explained as natural phenomena or man-made objects, others remain unexplained and continue to fuel speculation about the existence of advanced life. One of the most famous cases of a sighting by an astronaut occurred during the Apollo 11 mission, which landed the first humans on the moon in 1969. While on their way to the moon, the crew reported seeing a strange object that appeared to be following them. According to transcripts of their conversations with ground control, the object appeared to be moving in an erratic pattern and was visible for several minutes before disappearing from view. Other astronauts have also reported seeing strange objects in space. 
During the STS-48 space shuttle mission in 1991, the crew observed a series of objects moving in a coordinated manner in the distance. The objects appeared to be moving too quickly to be satellites or other man-made objects, and their sudden changes in direction and speed defied explanation. Other astronauts have also reported seeing strange objects or phenomena during their missions. Some have described seeing flashes of light or objects moving in the distance, while others have reported feeling a sense of unease or discomfort while in space. While some skeptics have dismissed these sightings as mere illusions or misidentifications of natural phenomena, others believe that they provide strong evidence for the existence of advanced life. Some have suggested that the strange objects seen by astronauts may be advanced spacecraft or probes sent by alien civilizations to observe or interact with humanity. Despite the many theories and speculations surrounding sightings in space, the truth remains elusive. While some sightings can be explained by natural phenomena or man-made objects, others remain unexplained and continue to fuel speculation and debate. Regardless of their true nature and origin, sightings by astronauts serve as a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the universe and of the ongoing quest to understand and explore the unknown. Whether or not these sightings are evidence of advanced life, they remind us of the importance of remaining open-minded and curious and of continuing to explore the mysteries of our universe. PSR B162026b is 12.5 billion years old. PSR B162026b is over 12,400 light years away from Earth and is in the constellation Scorpius. It was discovered that this exoplanet has been around for a long time. It's one of the oldest exoplanets that scientists currently know of. It formed about 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Scientists have not found any traces of oxygen and carbon on the planet, suggesting it is uninhabitable. Because of its old age, it earned the nickname the Genesis Planet and Methuselah. Genesis describes the first book of the Bible, which details how Christians believe the world was created. Methuselah is named after the oldest living person in the Bible. This exoplanet is also the first planet to be found that is circumbinary, meaning it orbits two stars instead of one. The stars are a pulsar and a white dwarf. Pulsars are round and compact with a large mass. They look like a group of stars from Earth, but they blink at regular and consistent rhythms, which is why scientists can use them to find large exoplanets. Pulsars are not like regular stars, but instead they emit two intense beams of light in either direction as they spin in a circle, like a lighthouse. White dwarves are the remnants of stars like the Sun. At some point, the star runs out of energy and turns into a white dwarf or stellar corpse. An exoplanet is simply a planet that orbits other stars. Whereas all of the planets in our solar system rotate around the Sun, exoplanets instead orbit other stars. Exoplanets are hard to find because the stars they orbit emit bright lights, so the glare hides the exoplanet. Instead of sight, astronomers use different techniques to find these exoplanets. The Genesis planet was discovered using the pulsar timing method. The pulsar timing method tracks the electromagnetic radiation from the pulsar the planet circulates. As the planet circles the pulsar, the pulsar radiates electromagnetic radiation that can be identified on Earth. Astronomers record the consistent pulses to determine if there are small inconsistencies in the pulsar's cadence. These inconsistencies occur because an orbiting planet pushes the pulsar off its center. This technique helps scientists understand the system's orbit and the mass of the planets involved. Finding a planet as old as this one helps scientists understand more about the history of our universe. OGLE 2005-BLG-390LB is the coldest exoplanet discovered. OGLE 2005-BLG-390LB, or HOF as some scientists call it, is around 21,500 light-years away from Earth, in the same constellation as PSR B162026b, the constellation of Scorpius. Located in the Milky Way galaxy, OGLE is not habitable, but its discovery may help scientists in their search for planets that are habitable. 
This is an exoplanet, which means it orbits a star. OGLE's star is a small red star near the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. Its location isn't what makes this planet's discovery so interesting. Instead, it's its temperature. OGLE is about 220 degrees Celsius below zero, which is about 364 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. It's the coldest planet ever discovered. Its exterior is covered in rock and ice and has been compared to a similarly cold and more massive Pluto, while its atmosphere is relatively thin and comparable to Earth's. OGLE was discovered using a less popular technique called microlensing. Microlensing occurs when one dimmer star that is closer to the Earth passes in front of a brighter star that is further away from the Earth. As soon as the more dim, closer star moves in front of the bright star in our eyeline, the bright light of the more distant star wraps around the closer star and the light gets split into two parts around the dim star. The gravity around the closer star magnifies the brightness of the more distant star, just like a lens of a microscope. The increase in brightness lasts about a month, but we know that the star will look its brightest when the Earth, the dim star and the brighter star are all in alignment. But how can this help astronomers find an exoplanet? If there is a planet orbiting around the closer dimmer star, then the distant star will look even brighter for a short time as it aligns behind the dim star and its orbiting planet. So, scientists will see a short increase in brightness as they look at the data from the more distant star. Astronomers believe there are a lot more planets out there. Similar to OGLE, as scientist Daniel Kubas said, the search for a second Earth is the driving force behind our research, and this discovery constitutes a major leap forward since it is the most Earth-like planet we know of so far. A source of far-flung neutrinos Ghostly particles, extraterrestrial origins. These might sound like supernatural matters, but they are actually descriptors for an occurrence happening in outer space. A spiral galaxy labelled NGC 1068 has been referred to as an amusement park of sorts, sending out masses of particles in a process called neutrino production. These strange specks are ghostly neutrons that barely interact with the matter around them. Neutrinos are subatomic particles that have no charge, hence neutrons, and almost no mass. These particles only interact with two forces, gravity and weak force which causes some types of radioactive decay. They travel at extremely high speeds and are abundant in the universe everywhere, and there is an estimate that says about 100 billion of these particles move through a person's body every second. But because they interact so weakly with matter, they're very hard to detect. Even so, they exist almost everywhere and can also be created anywhere, from out of decaying elements within the Earth to humongous supernova explosions. Scientists have sought an understanding of these neutrinos, and all the many ways these furtive particles are created. Scientists have found that many of these elusive neutrons, with origins in the galaxy NGC 1068, also sometimes called the Squid Galaxy, are coming out of a hotspot in its centre called Messier 77, which is anchored by a black hole. The galaxy is about 47 million light-years away from Earth, and can be seen using binoculars or an average telescope. This region contains a very dense amount of gas and electromagnetic fields. A professor at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, and the study leader of this research, Francis Halzen, said that these characteristics are what makes this area a Disneyland for producing neutrinos. He also pointed out that there has been an increase in research revealing connections between similar active galactic cores and a large amount of neutron production. What makes these discoveries so motivating to scientists and researchers is that it not only reveals a source of neutron production, but it also begins to point at what may be the accelerator of cosmic rays and the sources of the neutrinos, said Holson. TOI 674b There is so much that lies beyond our solar system, waiting to be explored and discovered, at school, you may have memorized the eight planets of our solar system and a notable mention to Pluto. It should not be surprising that planets exist outside of our solar system too. These are exoplanets, and some scientists believe 
Investigating these should be the next step in understanding what is out there. Perhaps we will find one just like Earth, and if we do, will it support life? The main piece of equipment being used to conduct this research is TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS is operating under NASA's Explorer program and is the primary space telescope looking for exoplanets. TESS was launched four years ago and has smashed expectations, identifying 2,601 celestial objects that could be exoplanets. Once these are indicated, more research is taken to confirm planetary status, and so 122 exoplanets have been confirmed so far as a result of TESS. Of course, there are plenty of fascinating stories because of TESS, from the planets that could possibly be hosts to finding out what is hiding behind some of the brightest stars nearby. One exoplanet, discovered in the January of 2021 by TESS, is TOI 640b. Following the discovery, scientists used a variety of techniques, including spectroscopic and photometric observations, to confirm that this was indeed an exoplanet. The results described TOI 640b as a low-density super-Neptune planet transiting an M-dwarf star. Overall, what we know about the exoplanet so far is that it lies 1,115 light-years away from Earth, has an orbital period of just five days, and has been confirmed as one of the largest super-Neptune-class planets found to orbit an M-type star. Hopefully, as TESS continues to do more great research and uncover more and more, we will find more exoplanets that can tell us about what else is out there, from possible life to star types. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.